I gotta be careful of the other dogs, cause like, yeah, that's what happens, dude. That was good, that was a good response from him. Next step would be the process for meeting men, okay? So I need to know, is the main one people coming over? Is what well, that you wanna do? Is the main one walking down the street? Like, is the main one at doggy daycare? Like, what's the situation? Uh, even my stepdad, like, he refuses to let his guard down around him. At your house? At their house. At their house, so you bring him over to their house? Yeah. Okay, and he's on leash in the house? All the time. Yeah, I don't trust him very much. Okay. I would, I would start like trusting the process. I'm not saying that if your stepdad is on the couch and then throws his hands up in the air and gets up real fast that um, something won't happen, but short of that, he's, he's off a muzzle an off leash with six foot something guy. Like we're not too, I'm not worried. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Maybe I should be, I don't think I should be. So what's, what would be the process for you going to their house? Um, I would say, is he, is um, um, Keegan always there? No. No, okay. Um, so you bring him over. You say hi to everybody and you sit down and you have him on a leash. Yeah, he's really good with my mom and my sister, but the second he sees my stepdad, oh, he it's hates like him. low, barking, uh, gets real low to the ground, happens up. Oh, like just, he doesn't like him. Yeah. Hmm. And your stepdad doesn't like him. Uh, he's a little nervous about him now. Oh good, he's not like mad at him or no, mean no, to him? Okay. All right. I think we just haven't tried this or your stepdad enough. I'm I just, sure with enough time, maybe. He's sometimes there? Rarely. I haven't been over there while he's there. Yeah. So. Okay, we won't put this on there. <laughs> Why? I uh, usually oh, go just, before work. Yeah. Okay, it's not family issues. Exactly. It's not? <laughs> no, it's not they don't hate me. <laughs> okay, no, okay. It's just convenient, so yeah. it's not by the work. All right. You, what I would do is I would go over there tomorrow or today preferably, and you go, yeah. and you have a gentle leader on, because you're gonna have control, and you get out of the car, and you let him go, oh, I'm at the stepdad's house, okay, I don't like that guy, and then you just let him be a dog. Then you start walking up, and he's pulling, or he's tripped out, and you're just kinda, okay, you're tripped out, just, we're in this neighborhood, yeah. and then at some point, you go, sit, and he goes, no, and you push his butt, you go, I don't, I'm not asking, yeah. because you're not gonna be asking when he's in there getting mad at step, we're not asking. I know I sound hardcore, and I, no, I sound, good. but I. Yeah, we watch the videos. We know. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> then you get in the house, and you, and he freaks on the stepdad or not, or ah, I mean, and you give him a little correction. Pop, the stepdad has not been mean to him. We, it is not okay to, for him to be mean to stepdad. And then, listen, you can do this too. I'm not saying you can't do this. At all. There's just, there's something in size and shoulder width and deepness of voice that matters to dogs. You can do this. Okay, I'll talk to both of you. And then you go, you sit his little butt down right when you get in the house and let him like trip, because he gets tripped out. He was tripped out down there. He was tripped out up there. He gets tripped out. Okay, so let him just kind of settle in. But then on any freak outs, you have a leash on, so you can do the correction. And I would sit him down and I'd have him be behind you. And I would actually shake your stepdad's hand, okay? Stay, and then you're like, and he gets up, sit, stay. Hey, it's so good to see you. I know, I love you. You're, you're, and then, and then he knows that you love your stepdad. And then I would just walk around the house and I would be just like hardcore with this guy and just be like, this is not okay. And then I would probably have your stepdad um, Ozzy, would you like the chicken? I would probably have him do that. I shook your guys' hands more than I've shaken anybody's hands, maybe ever. You know why? Why do you think? We established that we're that we know you, and that you can see that you can kind of calm down. Yeah.
Yeah, like I just, my gut was like, he's a German shepherd, personal protection dog. I need, we, he's young, which is good. And I just needed to, for him to know that I am your friend. Like it just, my gut was like, he needs to know I'm your friend, you know? Yeah. And down there I did like five times. You guys are tripped out how much I was shaking your hand. It just felt right to, for, to do that at that point, you know? So you cannot overdo, we love this person. Pop, you can't be mean to him. We love them. Oh, now you're sad. We, I'm just telling, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you how important that is for, fe for fear-based and protection-based aggression. For jerky aggression, doesn't matter. They don't care that you like that person. But this is protection-based, I think, and sort of fear, yeah, for lack of a better word, fear-based. I, I, I think the mix of hardcore, you can't do that, and we love that person, will like fix this dog. So like another big thing is when I take them to the park, and someone will like come up to me to ask, like, oh, what kind of oh, dog is he? And they're like, yeah, yeah. this distance, yeah. he will... Yeah. Yeah. Well, I need no context. Not a dog park, obviously. No, no, okay, you're at a park. park. He's off leash? No, I'm always on leash. On leash. Okay, good. Um, you are on the gentle leader now. Yes. You have control. Okay. And you don't have him getting pain, feeling not horrible pain. I'm not anti-prong collar. Yeah. Yeah. I just, we got to switch things up. Has, it hasn't worked. We still got problems and things aren't working in life. Change it, do something new. Um, you're the boss. So if someone comes up, when will he start barking? When they start talking. It's not necessarily a distance, it's a talk? Yeah. Or it's both? It's a little bit of both. Are you, do you want the person to talk to you? That part doesn't really matter. I'd like to at least hear what they're saying. Yeah. Just... Okay, creepy guy. Let him bark. <laughs> okay, <laughs> creepy guy, let him bark. You don't want the person coming up anyway. Yeah. Plus he can start associating mom's emotions with protection and that's a good thing. Okay. Nice person, it's not okay. Yeah. Okay, hey, how are you? Yeah, freaks out. I mean, correct. And then some sort of like, sit. He doesn't want to sit, he freaks out again. Pop, sit, stay. Hey, how are you? It's good to see you. I'm just training my dog. And then he's at this point going like, mom's never done this. He's kind of behind you. Yeah. You're now a gentle leader. Um, mom's being serious. I'm not saying it's not like a full freak, freak out that you or me or any, sometimes there's full freak outs I can't even control. And then when it's like that, it is tough. I'm not acting like it's easy yeah. if it's a full freak out, but like even up there, full freak out, you could barely control him. Yeah. Now he's on an easy walk though. Or gentle leader mm -hmm. so things are different things are better you have more control I mean that's where I think you start so what are the what are the tenants of a person walking up to you there's three main things that I've said tenants? yeah like uh, I might make the right word what are the three main things we're, we're doing or trying to convey to him when someone walks up to you. I think I've said three important things in that process. We acknowledge the person, yeah. right? Creepy guy, we're not acknowledging. Yeah. We're not going, hi, how are you? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so if a nice person comes up, there's a, there's a hey, how are you? Like, I'm letting him know I've accepted this person. Yeah. That's one. Mm -hmm. Okay, number two would be corrections on a freak out. Okay. And number yeah. three, I think, would be there's some sort of behind you aspect, okay. not protection in front of you aspect. Okay. He needs to be here and you need to be here okay. and like hey it's good to see you yeah you have any sit down okay. like mom's got it mom's a capable person mm -hmm. okay go on side of his friend oh love he likes the females okay let's go um pippa i want me or uh, um um spike okay yeah Again? Yeah, Pip away, Spike. Okay. Yeah, I'm saying hi. Yeah. It's also uh, like poodles and doodles. Mm. And huskies. Yeah, cur curly haired dogs is really what it is. They hate huskies. Ah, uh, but curly haired dogs. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we do. He really hates poodles. I bet he doesn't. Maybe not, but if I were. I bet if we let a dog to the side, he doesn't hate it. But we'll see. 
Yeah, we'll let you out for sure. Oh, there's your friend. Is that your friend? He's a nice boy. If he does anything, you pop and walk away. <laughs> pop, walk away, walk away. Good job. Bring him back. Go say hi to your friend. We'll do this all day. You want to be mean to this dog who's not done anything to you? Loosen the leash a little bit. Good. Hairs up. A neutered male, but young. Good. Walk him up. Let him say hi. You can do this. You want to get mad, dude? We'll do the same thing. We don't care. He's just like on his head. Pull him up. No fight in the gentle leader. Go say hi to your friend. All right. Shia to the side, please. Let him say hi. Get ready to give him a correction. Down into the side if possible. Not behind his head. Look at this doodle. Look at this mean doodle. Yeah, say hi to your friend. Get ready. Get ready. Good job. I was wrong. He didn't like her. Bring him back. Loosen, loose. Good job. Bring him back. Say hi again. Oh, he knows. Uh, okay, let's go muzzle on and we're going to let out uh, some dogs and I want him to play a little bit. Okay, let's go. Uh, who? Pippa, again to the side, and then out. I gotta be careful of the other dogs, cause I, yeah, that's what happens, dude. That was good, that was a good response from him. Yeah. You know? When you're, when they don't, that was when good. When the dog's correct him at work, he's very fine. That's great. Yeah. I'm ready for Pippa. Look, you never met this dog. Yeah, you never met this dog. Yeah, it's your friend. Is that your friend? Okay, back up, guys. I don't want to elbow you if I have to correct him. Female. Dude, you ran her into the corner. Okay. Uh, Another chill female? <laughs> Sit! Okay. Yeah, go do it again. I don't really care. Okay, come on. Watch me, don't watch him. That's you guys. That's what you guys should do. I was no nonsense, you know? And then he went back and he's like, oh, okay. That's, that's the key. Stepdad, dog, like be, do that. What do I do? Walk him five feet away. I gotta sit, good correction. And then, yeah, yeah, he's not good. The good news is, like, he's not looking to hurt a person or a dog. The good news is he takes corrections well from other dogs. So it's like, oh, we're not terribly worried about the other dogs like, going at him and attacking him. Yeah, go see him. Go see him. I don't care. Her. Yeah. Yeah. And then he's just, like, kind of a different dog, you know? Like, oh, yeah. dad got mad at me. Nothing to do with them. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Um, got, um, no, it's all right. Let's go all dogs away. Mm. 
we'll go we'll go print out while we're waiting for this. Ready? Yep. Ready. Yeah. Okay. He can say hi if he wants, whatever you want. Yeah, it's your friend. Yeah, it's your buddy. That's our good boy. That's our good boy. Yeah, it's your friend. Yeah. Yeah, you can say hi. It's your buddy. Yeah, he's a good boy. He's a nice boy. Yeah, he's a nice boy. He's a nice boy. Yeah, oh, that's our good boy. That's our good boy. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's friends. Good boy, Princey. I want like a face to face, but they're not really doing it. Come on. Get ready. Good, good loose. Good, tail wag from him. Good, okay, all right. I honestly don't know if you like need to come back, but people go to like a personal fitness trainer, not just to know what to do, but for the trainer to go. You're not like, you gotta do it. You know what I'm saying? Like people after two weeks go, like you remember what to do, but you just don't do it because no one's telling you to do it. Yeah. So if you just do it, you don't need to come back. Okay. Cause I think we got it kind of figured out in a way, 